Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Well, another day in the studio. I'm so excited to have y'all here with me. Welcome, welcome. So welcome, my dear, lovely friends who watch me all the time, and welcome to my brand new subscribers. So, and those of you who might be thinking about it, Come on in, let's have a little play. So that today is what I'm doing, is I'm having a little play in my studio, and I thought I would invite you in to make some ephemera for our journals. And this can be made for any journal. Um, mine's gonna be Christmas themed, but everything we make here, you can make in any style, right? I'll probably even do some shabby chic ones too. It's not just gonna be the one. So um, in fact, maybe I'll start with that first and then work on. But before we get going, how are you guys? How are all of you? What are you up to? I hope you're all well. Um, we're, I'm hanging in there. I haven't been feeling well at all, but I decided I want to do a video today. So here I am. Um, but before we get going, uh, because I have all this fun goodness to play with, couple of projects. I'm going to go very quickly uh, with this other thing. I wanted to share something that um, I'm going to be using in my journal. Um, this is the um, the paper bag journal, you know, that we started. I wanted to show you that before we got going. You could see the cover's completely done. We have some little charms. We have some flowers. I added some lace because I've tied in my... Um, my signatures in you guys and then I even found some things to put on the pockets which I showed you and this has a number of little pockets but not really much I don't I think there's only I think I only put in two so uh, as part of the pages or did I even maybe I didn't put any in here you guys uh, oh that's a pocket and then I think on the back side I have one here that I need to glue down and then I think I have one here right here so there aren't very many pockets in here and I feel like it's going to need a few because you know we're going to want to put in um some fun ephemera right so um we're definitely going to need this and I so right off the bat we'll start with making sure oh my gosh you guys look I just lost the cover to my mm. well that's a new one my gl art glitter glue well that's not fun all right so I want to make sure this has a little bit of ink on it I thought I put ink on here but I can't see it so I must have been having a really light inking day what are you guys up to are you crafting are you making things for Christmas presents this year are you is anybody like creating stuff to give for gifts do you like do you give things that you make I stopped doing that years ago because no one ever seemed to really appreciate the handmade gifts although that was all we could afford um when my kids were little I could not afford to um, buy gifts and of course no one understood or appreciated them and it was like it was sad because you know I sold stuff in craft shows so my things were wanted by others but yet my family didn't really want them so mostly my extended family like my in-laws didn't really my mom always loved everything I made and my sisters but my extended family my husband's family didn't really seem to appreciate or enjoy them sometimes my mother-in-law would uh, but not really you know so just wondering you know if you guys give gifts and people in your family appreciate them although now and I I would really like to make both my big sisters um, journals and my niece but one of these days I'll get there and I have one I have to send off to my other niece because um, she just got married so I want to give her one that I made for her I just keep forgetting to send it <laughs> yikes okay so enough of that so in this journal I need more pieces to use I mean there are a ton of fussy cuts for that I have two packs of fussy cuts to put in there, but I want to hand make some things and I, and I will use some of those, but I also want to make some other things for it. Um, and I don't have any Christmas ephemera made. I only have these, which one of those will go in there. And, and, um, so I want to use this journal from Jewel Design. This is another one. This isn't the vintage one. This is vintage Christmas greetings. This is a different one. And I don't know that any of you ever saw this. This is a digital kit that she did. Um, the beginning way back in October and I don't think I ever showed it because it's the paper that she used to make Jolene used to make her flip-flop journal so I can't I don't know if you guys remember this so I'm just gonna quickly and I mean quickly flip through it so you could see you know what's in that kit um, it's very vintage it is not like today's San, mall Santa you know these are all beautiful 
um, vintage images that would look good in, oh my gosh, any journal. Now I need to see, okay, you are. And I see we're getting a shadow, but there's nothing I can do about it. It is a very cloudy, wet, rainy day today. We are having our winter weather here in California. We've had tons and tons and tons of rain. I think we got three inches in one night. I mean, it was like crazy. So you have all these pages. Now she originally designed this that you could use it as a December daily, but I think it's beautiful as a journal in any, or anything, right? So I'm gonna go through it real quick. I know, I think Gail went through this too. She might have done on one of her videos, but this is my daughter in our shop and I wanted to share that with you. Aren't they gorgeous, stunning, beautiful? I want to make a journal out of it, but I, it won't be this year. Ah, but we have our uh, Merry Monday. Um, and so, you know, that is going to give me a chance to use this stuff. So if you haven't, now at certain time, now after Christmas, Jolene generally pulls down her Christmas kits. But if I'm going to be working with a certain one, I may ask her to put it back in the shop so that if I'm doing a Merry Monday and you guys want to jump on board and do it with me, um, you can get a hold of the kit. Now, these are the digitals, which are gorgeous. Look at these. These are journal cards. And I think this is what I'm probably going to end up using. And I didn't want to cut them up until I showed it off, right? So, oh, aren't they adorable? I think these would be great to go in all the little pockets for this journal because... It's not very wide, so I have to use the smaller things. Um, that'd be good as a belly band on a page. Ooh, there's another good one. There's some car. Oh, aren't these all gorgeous? Now, this one, I'm not heavy into Santa, but there's a lot of other images here that aren't Santa, as you could see. So it's going to work really. Look at that envelope. That's perfect. And then there's the numbers if you wanted them, right? So she did include them if you wanted to use it as a December daily. And most people are just decorating their December dailies, aren't really writing in them. I was, I was very surprised about that. So I do want to kind of put these to the top because I'm pretty sure these are the ones I'm going to be using if I get that far. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you. That is Vintage Christmas Greetings. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Um, and I think it goes well in here. Some of the images go well in here because... I think the first page of my journal here has this little um, Santa. So it's not heavy Santa, but it's also, you know, it's not a retro or current day Santa. It's a very vintage, very Victorian Santa. So anyway, I want to make some goodies. And one of the things I want to make is I want to make these little tiny um, shakers. And I want to check my time because I forgot to look. Seven minutes in so about 10 minutes till, okay all right so i um i got mine from vintage polka dot shop these are the miniature cd um holders i also grabbed from her um the bigger one and this one these are all coffee dyed um and i have a bunch of white ones too but i wanted to do you know me i want to do the coffee dye because it goes my shabby really well too so we want to make some little shakers and I think the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of whatever's on my sponge, my dauber here, all the way around. Um, all right. So um, I might want to, before I get going, pick an image. I want to put an image in there. And I have all my, I want to do little girls, I think, in the pink. So I'm looking to see. Oh, oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, they are cute, but I don't think, okay, I can cut them down. It's not that I can't. I just am wondering if, how far I would have to, I'd have to cut quite a bit off. But I think I could do it. I just don't know if you would see both their faces in there. No, I think it would cut off, well, I think if I cut it off there, I might see. I just want to know if I'm going to see both their faces. Oh, gosh, you guys, is that adorable? Oh, my goodness. I want this for my flip-flop journal, my pink one I'm working on for Leanne. Um, let me see. Let me check this little lady out. She's gorgeous, too, and she's pink. <gasps> okay, might have to do her. I know the girls are cute too. Oh, maybe I could do two. I could just do two. It's not that big a deal, right? I could do three if I want, right? Yes, I can. I have a package of them. 
this one could be closed this way. Oh, maybe that would be better for them. Would that fit better? Yeah, you do see them a bit better in this one. If I cut down that one side just, if I cut down the sides a little bit, I think I can get them in there and they are adorable. Okay, let me get these ready. I think that's the best thing to do is just get them prepped and ready to go. And then we can do our shakers. That means I'm going to need two, though, more. Because I need one for that journal. So, let me... Let's cut this down a little bit. Cut that down just a tiny bit. Let's see if that fits better. Yeah, now you see them both in there. Oh, aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh, they're just as cute as can be. Alrighty. So, let me... I am going to do this. I'm going to cheat here. Instead of taking it back out and trying to get it back in, what I... Well, in the world is going on with this thing. Goodness gracious, it doesn't want to stay on there. I'd have to get my pliers out. That's so weird. I've never had one come off like that, ever. But I've had this bottle a while, the art glitter glue. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put my glue in. The only problem is if I, I don't know if this is going to work now that I've done it, because I want to add... I'm going to be sealing this up after I get the um, shaker mix in there because I'm going to put a shaker mix in here. All right. The only thing is I'm worried that maybe I didn't um, glue it in there good enough. I'm going to have to cut this off. Probably right up to there. Wow, she is so pretty, you guys. Okay, she doesn't need all that at the top. So we can cut some of that off. Easier to close the envelope. Okay, so let's get that in there. Oh, what in the world? Okay, guys, I've never had this happen to me, ever. This is like the strangest thing. I, I don't understand. I really don't. Okay, I gotta get a, do I have a cloth? Yeah, I got one. What in the heck? I've never had one do that before. Oh gosh, if I put that, if I squidge that back on there, as they say. I apologize, I don't know what happened here. <laughs> My poor pokey tools was all clean, <laughs> not anymore. I might never get that off there now, though. Shoot. Let's see. It's a brand new tip. It's not an old one. But it doesn't fit my bottle very well. All right. Maybe I'm putting that little cap on too tight. All right. Let's get those sleeves up and let's get to work. We've got things to do today. Now I have a big old glob. That's going to probably affect my picture. Okay. I was just thinking the other day, I was very lucky I wasn't having any problems with Merrick Glitter Glue. Everybody's complaining about their glitter glue for one reason or another. And I was thinking, oh, I, mine's so good. Ha ha. Don't speak too soon. Okay. I want that to dry because I don't want to take any chance of any kind of glitter, you know, coming out. Now, um, those were the two images I liked. Was there a third one I was looking at? Was it this little girl? I don't know. That one's cute too.
You can find gorgeous, gorgeous images like this at um, Lorna at... Um, Sorry, Lorna, I just forgot the name. Taylor Made Journals. Yikes, what is wrong with me today? Goodness gracious, Taylor Made Journals. You can find them at Taylor Made Journals. Okay, so that's a cute little girl too. Isn't she adorable? So let's cut her down too. We can make a couple of these, right? I cut her little feetsies down. I'm so sorry, honey. All righty. Oh my goodness, aren't they sweet? Oh, I'm just loving these. I love these little images, you know that. You know I love to work with the kids and the ladies and the vintage images, vintage ladies and children. You could use Tim Holtz figures. You can use anything you want in one of these. This is just my style. These are part of my shabby chic, um, my shabby style, vintage shabby. Okay, little girl, get down in there. You actually look like a little angel with all your pretties on. All right. I think I could sit here and make a hundred of these. I bet you. That would be so easy. All right. Because I want to make the mix before I make the other mix. Now we have one more. I want to do one of the... Where did I put them? Can I just have them right next to me? I just showed you all the goodies that go in here. What did I just do? With there was two containers full. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm losing my mind. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I might be, I haven't made digitals and I mean, I haven't made digitals. I haven't made any videos in four or five days, so I'm a little rusty. Had to take some downtime, haven't been very well, so I'm not feeling well, but I'm hanging in there. You know, my doctor is away and trying to get an appointment this time of the year is zero. So I'm just toughing it out on my own. I'm looking for a face to put in there. I know I cut out. Oh, here they are. I'm going to put one of the little darlings in there. I think I kind of like the colors in this blue one or the bottom one, too. They're both pretty. They're all pretty angels. I want the angels in there, I think. Let's see if they'll fit. Oh, ooh, I love her. She's the most beautiful face, but I think she's too skinny. I don't think she'll fit. Nope. Darn it. Oh, but she might fit in one of the rectangular ones, but I didn't bring any more. I only had the one rectangular one out. Do I have any? Oh, I just bought a whole bag of those. I know I did. Yes, I did. Here it is. I just had this order with um, Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Shop. Okay, as you can see, we have lots of goodies to play with here. That kit is just wonderful. You have all kinds of fun pockets and, oh, goodies, goodies, lots of goodies. So we can decorate that thoroughly. Let me see about her, if she would fit in here. Yeah, yeah, she will. Isn't she beautiful? And I'm going to leave the bottom on because I seem to kind of need that. Now, what about this one? Do I want to do another one of these or am I just going to stick with her? Let me see if I can cut down the sides a little bit. I can even get it in there. And if it's going to be big enough, I don't think it's going to be big enough. I think it's the wrong size for one of these. I could put something behind. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit. Darn it. And I know that one's too skinny because we just tried it. So, okay, we're just going to do the two. I mean, the one. I want to use one of these. Oh, well, okay. We'll use them on something else. I'm sure I'll find plenty of things. All right, so we've got our, our stuff ready to go. And let's get our shaker mix made. I'm going to make myself. I've got goodies here. Most of these little things that I'm using are from... Um, Target dollar spot and I do have some from let's see Carolina's crafts on Etsy I get mixes from her pre-done and then I have just some these are um, just random wherever I see them, Michaels or wherever you know so I want to do pinks in this one I, I seem to remember so 
I, although I have pink mixes already made, I may just want to use one of those. Yeah. And then mix up my Christmas one for the other one. All right. So maybe we aren't going to do those because I already have mixes made from, and these are, these are again from Carolina's. Um, and actually this is the perfect mix right here. So guess what? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can just, this is an old, um, spice spice rack I mean spice yeah from a spice rack I took off the cleaned it good and took off the I didn't know if they would come out there not really I didn't think they would but that's okay there's more than one way to do this so <laughs> let's get smart right This one has snowflakes and all kinds of pretties in it. Okay, I don't think I have enough in there. So what I do wanna do is add a few. I wanna add some seed beads here. That way they'll actually kind of move around in there. And let's get, and they just came right back out. And let's get some of these white ones. Because that'll move the lighter sequins around. Oh, that might have been too much. Well, if you hear the noise, we're getting the... caught in the corner so you kind of have to play with this a little you would think oh just dump it in it's not always that simple and you want quite a bit in there um there i want a little more pink and the only other thing i would like in there a little bit more of is let me close this before i knock these over and um, let me find, oh, let's see. There's no silver and I don't know if I want to add any. I might want a tiny bit of this. Yeah, and looking for my snowflakes. Do I have white snowflakes? I thought I had white. Yeah, I do I have little teeny tiny snowflakes. Yay! Snowflakes! Because it's supposed to be a winter journal, so we do want some kind of snowflakes. We want some pink and we want some pearl. I probably got a few too many pearls in that one. All right, well, Let's make each one a little bit different then. Let's go to this one's got a lot of pink in her. So let's do her. Okay. I guess I should have just should just line them up and do them. Let's do it. This one, no, I think this one is for that journal as well. Because I have three, I have like four signatures in there, right? So. Okay. And then let's put Let's, let's mix this up. It would be helpful if I opened it. Okay. Are you guys seeing this? Or am I even getting in there? Hopefully my hair isn't in there. I'm a hot mess today. Hot, hot mess. I'm a hot mess, so. some of these bitty bitties, these bitty bitties, bitty bitty snowflakes. 
Oh. I know what I'm missing. Not so many of those this time. Okay, yeah, we want things to move around, so. How fun to have a shaker with children, right? I mean, it just makes you think of Christmas fun, playing in the snow, you know. Just want to make sure things are moving around like they should be. All right. The only other thing I think I want in there um, is maybe a little bit of the snow. It's a, it's a, Mm -hmm. <laughs> Given my klutzy state lately, oh my goodness, I need to move things away from me. You name it, I've dropped it, banged it, knocked it over. Oh, my little friend has a total klutz job lately. And I've never been a klutzy person in my entire life. Doctor thinks it might be my inner ear, so I don't know, probably. I'm not having any dizzy spells, so I don't know. Or I'm just getting old. <laughs> And that coordination, not so good. All right. I just hate knocking stuff over. It's just, as long as I don't break anything, I really don't care. But unfortunately, I have broken a few things recently, so I'm not very happy with myself. Okay, there we go. Mm -mm. I think I heard our front door. Might be getting a delivery. I have a bunch of Amazon stuff coming. Actually, I need to go shopping for my hubby today. I've not been able to go out. My daughter's uh, daughter, my granddaughter, got sick, so we didn't get to go shopping. She's homesick again today, so we have not been able to go um, do our thing and shop for my husband. So I'm going to have to go shopping on Amazon for him. I feel bad, but I, I would prefer to go out and pick out things. Because I like to feel things and see things and, you know... But I'm not going to be able to, so I will At least not before everything is sold out that I want, you know. So I'm going to have to try to do the Amazon thing and hope I can still get stuff delivered. I know I've got a few more days before it gets really difficult to get your stuff in the mail or in Amazon. Okay, so those are done. So what we're going to want to do now is I don't want to put anything else in there. I mean, you could add, if you were doing a big one, I would add other things to that paper before I put it in there. But for these little tiny ones, I don't think so. I did see a few. Um, on a couple on her. That's going to be an awful lot in there. I may have to take some of that back out, I'm afraid. Yeah. I need a few of those pink. Yeah, the vintage kind of pink sequins. I don't know if you can see what I'm putting in there, but I wanted a couple of vintage pink sequins that I got. I don't know where I got them, but there we go. All right. And I've been collecting these for about two years to get all these different colors. <laughs> so it's not something you just go out and buy, but you can go to the Dollar Tree and they have sequins. And they have glitter. And they have, you know, they have stuff. Our, do our dollar spot at Target has had these for Christmas. And I've been buying these for a couple years, too. Okay. So, before these fall open and I end up with a big mess, I'm going to go ahead and seal these up very tightly. That wasn't a very good job, was it? Um, okay, where's my, I, I tell you it only takes a few minutes to get a mess here, it's ridiculous. Cute, 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 cute. 
Well, those shakers, these are cute. They are just something fun to put in your journal to play with. They really aren't, they don't serve a purpose. I mean, if you cover the back here, you could write on it, but I think it would be very difficult because um, these are just something fun to play with. These are also a cute gift to give. If like if you got grandkid, uh, older grandkids and you wanna stick a little something in their card or their stocking, give them a shaker. I wouldn't give them to them under three because you don't want them opening it and swallowing stuff. But, you know, the kids that are five and up maybe would, would enjoy these, I would think. So, all right. Let's, so now, um, let me finish the mix on her and then we'll decorate the outside of these a little bit with something. I don't know what yet, but something. Um, now, I already have some Christmas mix, so I may just go ahead instead of creating a new one do this and just add a little bit like we did the others. I don't actually have to make one this year. Oh, did I glue her in? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, bird brain. All right. All right. All right. Goofball. Let's go. That. Come on. You know what? I'm trying to hurry so that I have time to do more than one, one project today. That hour goes so darn fast and people say, oh, make shorter ones. Okay, I could. But then we wouldn't get anything done. You would never, ever see anything finished, ever. That's what happens when you don't make videos regularly. You forget your process. Hopefully I'm in camera. I'm not working off camera. I feel like I'm like off into too far from the table or something. I don't know. My glue seems very thick today. Maybe this room is getting too cold. I bet. I bet. Isn't she a beauty? What a beauty. Too bad the other ones didn't fit. And we have to make sure she's dry because we don't want um, all of the goodies to stick to her, right? So. Alrighty. And we'll give that a minute. But what I might do is create my mix over here, maybe. And then, and I had a good mix there, too. Darn. I want to get at least two of the gold snowflakes in there. And make sure there's enough green and red, right? Now, let me get... I have some little green trees here, which I think would be cute in there. Also, I want to make a couple of these because they're so darn cute. <clears throat> Wouldn't be it would be fun to have a few in there. I have some little gold bells. Oop, oop, oop. I didn't mean to pour that many out. I want to put like three. One more, one more. Oh, there's more than three now. There's four or five. You know what? There, they, it's just bound and determined to have. So make five because I don't like uneven numbers. <laughs> okay. All right. And let's add uh, some of these tiny little snowflakes. I think we need a few of those. And I don't really want the silver. I do like this gold. Oh, this one's not open. I thought I had one open. Oh, what do I have here? Oh, well, let's use these for our gold. Yeah. How about a couple of these? Is 
some of these are kind of stuck together, so you get I don't want to give that many a big stack of them. Okay. What do I have here? Oh, I have candy canes. Perfect, right? For a little girl. Cute little candy canes. Let's put some of those in there. But see, like, see this help? I don't know if you could see this, but they were all stuck together. You end up wasting some. Put those back in the jar. All right, and then we want our snow. We want a little snow. I don't think I have any more of this. I think this is all the snow I have. I have some of these I have double bottles because I bought them for a couple years in a row. I don't think I need the... Well, let me see. Maybe a tiny bit of this little bit here. Okay, we've already used all of that. Um, oh, the snow. There's the snow. Okay, and definitely got to have some of this for the sparkle. There we go. Mixed and ready to go, which is probably what I should have did with the other one. And there we have it. Usually I add glitter, but I don't think I'm going to add glitter to these. Sometimes it sticks to the cellophane and it's a big pain in the patootie. Ooh, that's a lot. I didn't realize that might be too much. I might have to take some of it out. Now let's see, what am I missing? Well, that's a problem. You have to take some out. It's like, I want to make sure all the little trees, oh, and the snowflakes are in there. Okay, I can put that in another little container. I dislike it when it, uh oh, when it goes to the bottom like that. Kind of like when you're playing with glitter it has its same issues but i don't care it's fun it's like way fun i could like do this all day long sit and play and make different mixes and you know okay so let me get this closed up so i don't do that again that would not make me happy we could decorate them. <laughs> now these I might not be able to fully decorate because any words or anything I would use on it are, are with my other stuff and I don't, it's buried on my cutting counter, but isn't that cute? I love it, love, love, love it. I am going to add a little, this is coffee dye, but lightly coffee dye, very lightly coffee dye. I've got a good and sealed. We have a fun little shaker. Yay! Oh, lots of fun. Okay, so happy. So what I was thinking was maybe I would put some of this, um, eyelash yarn don't know I've never used it so I don't know if I have an end here somewhere oh yeah I got lucky wow look at that that never happens that never happens okay pulled the string there it is I was thinking about putting it around the edge or maybe using some plain white yarn but I think that 
wish I had, I don't know. I'm looking at my yarn behind me. I don't know if I have a like cream yarn that would be thick enough. Um, Cause this is not white. This is sort of an off white. So I think that's too brown. That doesn't work. What about this one? This has got other colors, but um, aha. I could cut off the yellow part that I don't like and go around the edge. Nah, that just doesn't do it for me. Oh, okay, I wanted to put something around the edge that would make it look really pretty, furry, warm. And she's got, she's wearing fur. She is wearing fur and that's not cutting it. What else can we put on there? Hmm. Well, yarn would work. If I can reach the yarn basket. Yikes. Okay. This is the yarn basket that fell on my head. <laughs> One of the ones that fell on my head. Um, oh, we've got that. That's pretty. I wish it had sparkles in it. Someone said I should get some sparkly yarn, and I thought, I, I agree with you. I need to get some. Yeah, this is kind of what I had in mind. I mean, I wish it had sparkles in it, but it doesn't. So, you know, it's all right. Um, I want to put a word on here, so maybe I'll put the word down there. So what I'll do is I'll put this on first. Let's try our, our um, let me move some stuff off my mat. It's like crazy busy over here. Got so much going on, right? All right, and I think... Why don't I move this out of the way? Because I think we're done with this, right? I don't think we need any more. And I will get a little jar. I have a bunch of tiny little jars to put that sequin mix in. And I can use another time, right? So we don't waste sequin mix. And I don't want to put it back in with the other one because that was mixed by somebody else. So here we go. We're going to run out of time if I don't get myself together here. I'm going to start at the bottom like I do when I stitch with my sewing machine. And go around. I've not done this before, so we'll see how this goes. Could be a hot mess, big fat disaster, or it'll go really well. Okay, well, probably would go well if I got out enough yarn the first time. Wait a minute. Okay, I think I just got this at Michael's or Joann's or something. Let's try this again. I didn't put much on there, so I got lucky. And and I will admit, I got this idea from Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkle. She did some cute little shakers for something one of her, I think it was her um, 12 days of Christmas, Christmas crafting or something like that. And I saw hers and I thought, oh, I, I have always, as you guys know, if you watch any of my videos, I've made a lot of shakers in my time on video and off video. I love shakers. I have a thing for them. Well, anything bling, you guys know that. I mean, that's not new, right? Nothing new here. Lorette loves her bling. I just wish I had some more of that furry eyelash trim stuff. Not the, not the, you know. Ah, oh, cute, 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 cute. Not as easy to do in a square or rectangle, but cute. Look at that. Look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm also thinking some of Jolene's words. Um, let me get them. I showed those to you. They are in her shop and you get the definitions and the words together, which is very cool. I didn't realize that it was, you get both in your, in the digital. Oh. 
Oh, if you hear noise, it's windy. Um, it's also garbage day, so we, luckily I'm in the back of the house now, so we don't hear the garbage trucks like we used to. I remember when I would do the videos and they would just like come right at the time and it was like, oh my gosh. I think we'll name her Holly. We'll use the word Holly. Let's see if I have one cut already. But yeah, these all, her words and her definitions all come in, in one kit, so you don't have to buy two sheets. They're both together. So that's a jewel design. There's mistletoe. Nope, I guess we'll do Holly. I like Holly because then it looks like it's her name, right? Make sure I'm not cutting out more than one. Okay, looks like I'm not going to get to do the, the pockets that I wanted to make unless I stop right now, which maybe I will. I'll see how much time I have left is whether I'm going to do the pockets because I really wanted to show you two different things today that you could make. Let me move those over. And let me quickly do this. Yeah, like I said, we I don't know what kind of weather you guys are having, but here in California, Central California, Central Coast of California, we've had a ton of rain. It's been awesome. But like, boy, we got, my husband and I got nervous. We had some flooding in the backyard. He had to go out in the pouring rain, in the dark, and dig a little trench to from the, the sidewalk to the drain in the lawn because it was backing up onto our patio and we were worried about getting in the house and flood also flooding our um, our outside storage um, unit that we have in the backyard that keeps all of our patio furniture and pillows and everything in it. Well, we were worried about the water was rising so bad, so fast, that we were super worried we were going to have flooding out there. So he went out in the dark in the rain and then the front yard had gotten from the gardeners um, had plugged up one of the drains in the front, so that wasn't working. That's why the backyard was flooding so badly. But it was raining hard, like nonstop for hours. So, oh, isn't she cute? Oh, I love her. I'm really happy with her. Isn't she adorable? You know what I want to, um, give me a minute. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. I found my pink words. I found my pink words, so I can put those on these. That's what I will do off camera, and then I can show you in the next video. But I wanted a few of these little guys here. I could put one on there. Well, okay. Those aren't the ones I want anyway. This is the one I want. Here we go. I want to put one of these on here. I want to see. Yeah, right there with a little pearl or something or something sparkly. Yeah, what do you think? I think it'd be cute. So let's just put a whole glob of that on there. I don't know if that'll stick to that. Let's wait a bit and see if it does. All right. Or should I maybe add more glue? Well, we're getting dimension there. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Let me see. See, isn't that cute? Yeah, it needs a little something up there. I'll have to figure out what I want to put up there. I might put a sequin. That might be cute in the middle, a red sequin. That might be really darling. Let me see. Oh, how much time? I forgot to look. <laughs> We're at 50 minutes. I've got 10 minutes more. All right, well, that's good. Um, this might require some tweezers. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. It's getting cold in here. I opened the window for some fresh air and the room was stuffy. The heater's on and the door's closed. But I feel like I'm getting chilly, so I may have to close the window here. I don't want to catch cold. Being that I was with my granddaughter when she was exposed, her her best friend got sick. Well, there's three of them that hang out together. So the first one got sick, then the second one got sick, then she got sick. And my husband went and picked her and her friend up who was sick from school. So he was being a good guy, but unfortunately, you know, does expose us and me and with a low immune system 
It's not the best thing for me. Sorry, those are backup beep beepers for the garbage trucks. Okay, you guys, come on. I'm gonna have to, I don't wanna stick my head in there because like I said, I'm a hot mess. I need to do my hair. I wanna do the video first before I had lunch, you know, because after lunch, it's like, ugh, I never wanna do anything uh, for a little while after lunch. So I'm like, well, I might wanna. Um, now I'm getting fancy. Now I'm getting fancy. Thinking about putting one of these in the middle of that. Is that too big? Yeah, it's too big. All right, but I might have a teeny tiny pearl that would look cute in the middle of that. Boy, I'm really going all out, aren't I? Aren't I ridiculous? I am so funny. <laughs> you know me, I gotta bling the living daylights out of it or I'm not a happy girl. <laughs> uh, oh well, there's just some of us that are that way, right? I don't know what that is or why that was in there. <sighs> probably will regret throwing that away because it was probably a shaker window that I used at one point and forgot about and just threw it away. Come on, you. It's sticky on the back, so I think I could put it on there. There we go. Done. Yay. Can you see? Cute, cute, cute. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. She's pretty. She's so pretty. All right. I'm in love. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. So um, that is for a pocket in this journal. And I would think, let's see. I thought I made a big pocket here, but I didn't. Gee, I can't believe I didn't do that. She might go in one of those. We'll have to see what pocket she goes in because I don't have the pockets made, which I was going to do a pocket or two on this video, but now I don't know. Do I have time? I might. I wanted to do an envelope pocket. Um, and I wanted to, I don't know if it's too wide to go on a page. That's the one thing I have to look and see. Yikes, it's a little wide. So if I make it, you do an envelope and you cut it down. Let me try it. I'm going to close it up. I'm just going to use that seal because I'm going to glue it down. So I'm not worried. But what I could do, I don't mind the height for a pocket. It's a little high. It's a little high. Let me, let me see. Let me see. I got a little time. So we took an envelope. I was going to use um, junk mail envelopes, but this is so narrow. If it was a regular journal size, uh, the five and a half by eight and a half or nine, that would work perfect. But I didn't, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut off a little bit because it's a little too tall. I think I'm going to cut it like mm, maybe a three-quarter pocket. Don't throw that away. You can make another pocket out of it. Okay, so it's open at the top, but I really don't want it to be. I want it to be closed on the side. So because it's too tall for this journal, I'm just going to go ahead and close it up. I know that seems funny. We're just going to close it like that. Okay. Then we're going to open it up down the side. Now, um, that means I'm going to put it on, <sighs> let's see, on a page like this. To be loaded. Well, you know what? I actually didn't need to close it up because it would, it does fit on some of the pages if it's on this one. I was gonna cut it open here now that I've closed it up, but Pierre is gonna open it here and then you could just stick something in this side. But now I see I could glue it on. I could cut this open again and glue it on. All right, well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm first gonna cover it with some papers. So let me see. Remember how I had that kit and I said I was gonna use the papers from that kit? Well, I am. I just need to. see what pages I've got. Oh, see, that's really pretty. That'd be really pretty on there. And then you could decorate it with whatever you want, right? What else we got? Mm. Or I could use something that's already pre-decorated and just put it on there and I wouldn't even have to decorate it. Hmm. Mm. 
brain is thinking. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Oh. I'm gonna do with my first instinct and use that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to lay it on there and I'm not going to go through the whole measuring thing. That's ridiculous. You don't need to. You just lay it on there and cut it out, right? Had a little glitter on my glue there. Just, but I'm going to move it in because I remember there was a white. I saw the white edge there. This is a quick and easy pocket. You just do this. You cut it out and you are good to go. And you could decorate it if you want or leave it like that. Of course, I'm going to decorate it. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. I made tons of these with uh, Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah years ago, last year. And I think she's doing them again this year. So now we're, it's all closed up because remember, I accidentally closed the top. But now I'm not going to. I'm going to cut it open. Let's see if I opened it enough. No, I didn't. I glued it down pretty far. Oh, man, we're at... Okay. Let's... Now that should open it. Yep, it's open. Okay, there we go. Mostly open. There we are. All right, so now we have a pocket for the inside of that journal page. Can make a bunch of pockets super quick that way. There's a bunch in the kit, too, but... I was in the mood to make a pocket and show you how easy we could make one. Then I can just see if there's something in the kit I want to use or if I want to use one of the other pieces. So let's see what do I have in here. It's mainly the kids in here, I think. I don't want kids on all the pages. I mean, there's a pocket I'm going to use probably. I'm looking to see what else I have. If I have like a, yeah, see like if I had something like that for the page. Where are my journaling cards? That's what I need. Like I said, I spent a lot of time cutting all this stuff out. Where are my little journaling cards? Do I only have big ones? That's cute, too. Maybe I'll just do the truck, since I don't seem to be finding what I'm... Oh, I'm hungry, you guys. I need to eat my lunch. Well, we already have her on the cover. I don't think we need her again, right? All right. Let's just... Let's use this. No, it's not doing it for me. It's just not doing it for me. Okay. I'm going to run out of time if I don't get my rear and mirror here. Okay. These are going to be too big. So remember I said those were there were some smaller ones in here. Um, yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I've got in mind here. Sorry guys, I was just thinking. Ooh, that's gonna be great in there for a belly band for putting in journaling cards. We're gonna be easily going to be easy, it's going to be easy for me to fill up the journal and share with you what I made. Might be what I do today. I don't know. I'm not feeling that great, so I haven't been sleeping at all, so I'm very tired. But Gotta get up and get moving. I'm not laying in bed. I'm not giving in. I think it's just my illness and the cold weather wearing its ugly head. I have a lot of different arthritis and fibromyalgia and, and lupus. So I, you know, I have times where this weather just really gets to me. 
Okay, so I have three cards to choose from that I think would go nicely. Well, I know what it needs. Yeah, something like that. I don't usually put the blue in there. I'm trying to remember, is there blue in that? Not a whole lot. I don't really see any blues. Maybe not that one. Actually, I really like this one. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Now, these little cards right here are from the kit I just showed you, so. You know what? It's this. I'm not liking that. Isn't that weird? I, I thought I would love that, and I just don't like it. I don't think it's bright enough for this kit. The kit is mega bright. Hmm. So what I might have to do is make a different, a different one. Because I really like this on an envelope. It would be adorable. Or on a pocket. So we have this pocket. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'm not finding anything that I really want to put on it. So maybe once I do... I'll use it, but you saw how to make it. You know, you saw that you just cover up the envelope, cut it down. You could add a second pocket by covering this little piece too, and you could have a double pocket on it and then put a little something on the double pocket, which I might do. I don't really know. So anyway, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today and letting me have a little play with my sequins and make us a little some darling little shakers. I'm going to pick up some of this mess so I can show you what we made today since I have a pretty good... <gasps> Don't I think I had a few tools out? Goodness gracious, you guys. I sure did, right? I had a lot of tools out on my desk. Oh, here's what I made. I'm looking all over for them. I'm like, where are they? I know they're here. All right, you guys. Oh, goodness. There we go. I clean up that mess. Oh, you don't want to see what's behind me. You would actually cringe, I'm sure. I'm cringing. I'm a cringing. So, let me see how much time we have. Oh, you guys were over a lot. I am so sorry. I had no idea. I apologize. All righty. Well, we made a pocket. We And we made four shakers with our little girls. And she's completely done. And I will finish them. And then, oh, you'll see what I did with this one in the next video. So, thank you for watching, you guys. I love you all so much. Hugs and kisses. I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.